Okay, this is my indispensable tool when um, drawing portraits and even though I like my portraits to be a little bit abstract, I like the proportions to be accurate, so I measure and uh, I often draw my paintings, uh, my drawings on the paper and then I transfer them uh, to my painting. About this tool, this is called a skill divider and you can use it to enlarge your reference picture. If you slide this button, or what's it called, I don't know, up and down, you can change the ratio. You can see this one is much larger than if you put it here. I like it to be somewhere in the middle, but it depends on how big you want to your portrait to be. I even use it when I uh, don't want to enlarge my painting, but I want it to be the same size, so I measure this part and transfer it to my painting like this. But in this case, we're going to enlarge uh, the portrait, and I will show you how I do it. I draw a cross on both the reference picture and on my paper. Usually I don't press too hard because you will want to um, maybe to uh, erase it. But for you to see, I pressed a little bit harder. Then I deci decide the ratio that I want to have. So um, if I want to have it very large or just a tiny bit bigger, I think this is okay. And then I start measuring um, my reference points. I will take a, re a red pencil so you can see what I do. Of course, I usually use uh, just a charcoal. So I measure from this point to, for example, this point, like a reference point. Flip it over and mark these points here. So you know this, this is the side of the head. You have to be a bit more accurate, yes. And then you take another point, for example here, the hair and the... Um, I'm always measuring from the middle, well almost always. Flip it over and then put your reference point here. And Same for the chin. And then you can start drawing and you can always measure more points. We will measure the eyes and the nose and the mouth as well. And if you want to, for example, know how wide this chin is, you take another reference point. Swap it over. And of course you can take as many reference points as you want. You will see that if you practice this often you need less and less uh, points if you don't mind if it's not too accurate.
Mm, that's a good point. If you know, maybe you know, to want to have you know this point, you can measure from the middle line. So it should be somewhere here. It's a bit bigger. Yes. And then from the horizontal line, this way, you know exactly where this point is. So this one was a bit too high. And now we will do, for example, the nose. If you want to know where the, the edge of the nose is, you measure, measure like this, flip it over. And check from this side. It's about the same, so it's much higher. was wrong with so you know the edges of the nose you know where the shadow is well, you can measure forever and of course you don't have to because if you're happy about the drawing there were the eyebrow starts You see that it's much higher. Okay, I think you get the idea, like, um, well, we can do the mouth, and then I think you understand what we, how I use this magical tool. Flip it over and draw your reference. You really have to be sure that the this is lined up. Because sometimes, if you're working with it, it will it might change a bit. And then you want to know the corner of the mouth. So you measure here. Flip it over. Do 
just a little bit lower. Okay, so this is how I use my skill divider uh, when I'm drawing the portraits. I'm, uh, I find it quite a magical tool and uh, I, will, I hope it will uh, help you in your drawings.